Cell BFA Premier League continued at National Stadium last evening. They now topped the standings with 10 points from four games, the same as second place Weymouth Wales. Now, Wales kept in touch and distance of the front runners after a narrow victory over Clayton's Colotonic Notre Dame. Again, CBC's Damien Best reports. Weymouth Wales in green playing Notre Dame. No goals in the first half. This is the second. Wales having their way. Testing shot from long range, just over the crossbar. Well, Dames did create what was their best opportunity to score midway through the second. No offside flag. Keeper to the rescue. Then some sketchy defending chance. Horror. But the deadlock will be broken in the 79th minute. Player brought down inside the 18. And the referee has no choice but to point to the spot and award a penalty. Kimar Headley will do the honors of putting this one away. That would be good night, nurse. Wales with the 1-0 victory over Notre Dame. Well, there was plenty of fireworks in the second match. Rendezvous playing Britain's Hill in red. 0-0 after 45 minutes. Let's take it from the second. Rendezvous poised to pull something out the bag. Hello, Rashida Williams. 56 minute rocket. Rendezvous one. Britain's Hill nil. Skip ahead now to the 70th minute. Myron Samuel added fuel to the fire. Leaves two defenders in his wake. Oh my. The pot is full. And Bremen over. Rendezvous two. Britain's Hill nil. Well, Chef Samuel wasn't finished just yet. Eight minutes later, the wheels falling off the wagon for Britain's Hill, a nudge in the back, player goes down in the box, and you know the rest of the story, penalty, Samuel cool as ever, puts the final nail in the coffin, rendezvous three, Britain's Hill nil, pure niceness at the National Stadium, Damien Best, CBC Sports. Thanks, Damien. And in the other game that played, the Pioneers left it until late to defeat Pride of Gall Hill. Arantes Lawrence in the 82nd and Jamar Thomas in the 87th scored for the Pine, who are incidentally fifth in the standings on six points. Gall Hill remain at the bottom of the table and are yet to win a game this season. Switching now to track and field, St. Giles did the double today in the James Wedderburn zone of the Pine Hill National Primary School's Athletics Championships at a national stadium. St. Giles won the girls with 187 points ahead of former champs Arthur Smith with 148 and Sharon with 120. Now in the boys, St. Giles are joint champions with Bay Primary. Both schools get in 138, while Grantley Prescott, they were third with 108.5. The victor Ludorum was Fabian Hoyt of Sharon with 30 points. He broke two records. While the victrix was Teresha Clark of St. Giles, also at 30 points, but she broke three records. CBC's Marsha Boyce reports on some of today's events. We started the action in the James Wedderburn zone with the Open Girls 600 meters. This is section two, and these girls were off to a blistering start. Sene Best of Bay Primary out front doing the early work. But into the final 100 meters, Shanila Chase of Hildeskeen would make her move, going on to take the lead. Chase would go on to win in 1 minute 58.55 seconds, the fastest time overall of the three sections, and the only one under two minutes. Best was second, and Naomi Gardier of Arthur Smith third. To the open boys 800 meters, section one, the fastest of them all. Let's skip ahead to the final lap, where there was a four-way battle emerging. Heading into the straight, and it's still anyone's race. The sprint was on, with Daniel Gibbs of St. Winifred's moving ahead. But here came Antonio Simmons of Renal Weeks. Simmons passing Gibbs on the inside, pulling away to victory, winning in 2 minutes 37.98 seconds. Gibbs was second, and Rashawn Smith of Bay Primary third. Now to some record-breaking action in the sprints. Under 9 girls, 80 meters. From lane five in the all gray of St. Giles, it was Tyresha Clark on her way to smashing the old record of 12.54 seconds, clocking 12.35 to win ahead of Sharissa Brown of Grantley Prescott and Carrie Ann Bentham of Hilda Skeen. 
These 80 meters brought double glory for St. Giles, as Kevin Webster would set a new mark in the under nine boys race. Check out his form as he powered away to victory in 12.15 seconds, better in the old record of 12.21. Kayla Blackett of Reynolds Reese was second, and Aidan Aline Maynard of Sharon third. Marsha Boyce, CBC Sports. Thanks, Marsha. And the Knapsack quarterfinals are next week, Wednesday. It has been described as a unique sporting event, which should not be missed. The Apes Hill Polo Club will stage the first ever Polo Under the Stars event on March 28th, starting at 7.30 p.m. Representative of the club, Karen Karenberg, says the interest in the event has been overwhelming so far. It's something that's a little bit different to play at night. And when I made the suggestion to Apes Hill, um, being as forward thinking as they are, uh, they jumped in the idea. They love the idea of having playing polo at night. You know, we try to do things very different and unusual up here, and this certainly set us apart from the others. I'll be back at 8.30 with CBC Sports, but up next... The Business Report.